Hey guys, it's the infamous one, and you know what it is. An awesome another day with stupid laws in the USA. Today, it's Kansas. Alright, so, rabbits may not be shot from motorboats. Alright, so, first of all, most of us has probably seen the Wizard of Oz. And so, do, does anyone remember a giant lake in the movie, or like an ocean? Because I don't, and I don't think Kansas really has any of those. So why would someone even own a motorboat? Uh, gets me uh, thinking, what do they do on this Sunday afternoons or something? <laughs> um, pedestrians crossing the highway at night must wear tail lights. <laughs> okay, um... If you're by me, you get killed in like two seconds if you try to cross the highway. Um, I, I I don't know what Kansas highways are like, but I'm guessing you could actually walk across them and not get killed right away. But I wouldn't try it just because it says I'm supposed to wear a tail light, and I don't know how to wear a tail light on my body. I know if I'm wearing if I'm riding a bike, you just put it on like the back of your bike. And, uh, yeah, wheels also have the, the reflectors on them. I mean, not wheels, pedals usually have reflectors on them now. Um, you know, just that normal stuff. And, uh, no one may catch fish with their bare hands. Now, this goes with the other thing. I don't really know if there's any lakes, but I'm guessing there are if people are saying that you can't fish with your bare hands. So, I don't get why, because... There's like one certain fish, I forgot where you catch it, I think it's catfish. You actually stick your fist in the water, like you cover it with like peanut butter or something, you stick your hand in the water, and the fish bites your hand, and that's how you catch the fish, or that's how they have like competitions to catch fish. It sounds pretty cool. I would never try it though, because that fish will probably bite off my arm. I'll be like, ah, and like, then I can't play video games. Then I'd be sad. Alright, so the state game rule prohibits the use of mules to hunt ducks. Um, okay, why would you use a mule? Why not use, like, a dog? Duh, that would be so much easier, and dogs actually listen better, I think. Because mules, like, you're as tough as a mule, or as stubborn as a mule. That means mules aren't as, uh, as, um... Um, li listening as dogs. There we go. That's the right word. Uh, if two trains meet on the same track, and neither shall s neither shall proceed until the other has passed. All right. So, just imagine you know one train going on all awesome. It comes to a T. It's like all right, one, two. All right, time to go. <sighs> And he sees another train coming by. He's like, uh oh, I gotta stop. I'm in the middle of the, of the tracks already. Uh oh, I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And he stops right in the middle of the tracks. And the other train's like, yo, move. And he's like, I can't until you move past me. So that'd be, that'd be kind of bad because no one would ever get anywhere then. And it wouldn't be very good for the world. All right, so that's all the state laws. Now time to get into the city laws. It is illegal to urinate on the side of a building. Well, I think that's almost illegal everywhere, so yeah. Too bad. <laughs> uh, hitting a vending machine that stole your money is illegal. Um, well, obviously, if it stole my money, I'm going to be mad. It's, it's not going to get away with it. I might, like, you know, stab it a little, like, punch it, kick it, you know, the, the, the normal stuff. You know, the normal stuff you do to a vending machine. And then eventually, I'll get mad enough that I'll just stick my hand up there and, like, grab whatever I was trying to get, possibly, without getting my arm stuck. That'd be kind of bad, though. You know, I probably wouldn't do that, just because I am pretty scared of getting my arm stuck, because I've never tried that before. <laughs> uh, persons may not scratch their... Wait. Persons may not scratch their tires while driving. Well, it's really not like... Oh, screech their tires. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, okay. No, that's kind of acceptable just because, you know, screeching tires isn't really good for the tires, first of all. And second of all, it's just annoying to hear. Riding an animal down the road is against the law. But... 
I have to say, if it's a horse, it's legal because they always rode horses back in the day, 1800s. What if I came back from the 1800s and I got sucked into the Bermuda Triangle or something? I came back and I got into Kansas, so I was like Dorothy and I showed up back home and I was riding a horse down the street. Would I get arrested? Probably. Would it be unfair? Most likely. And would I complain? Definitely. So it is illegal to spit on a sidewalk. Well, too bad. I'll still do it probably. Uh, all cars entering the city limits must first sound their horn to warn the horses of their arrival. Well, you guys just said that in the last town I couldn't ride a horse. But now this town you're saying I can? That's just unfair. Super duper unfair. I think I'm going to go complain to Kansas. Let me go write a letter to them. Kansas. Horses. Complain. Boom, boom, bow. Okay, I'm done complaining. All cars entering the city limits must first sound. Oh, I just read that one. I'm sorry. No one may wear a B in their hat. Now, why would you want a bee in your hat, first of all? Because it's going to just sting your skull, most likely, and it's going to be painful. Um, yeah. It's probably not good to have, like, a bee stinger in the middle of your skull or something like that. It's not that good, I don't think. One may not picket a funeral. Now, why would you even picket a funeral? Well, actually, I could think of a couple of reasons, you know. Some, like, really, really bad guy got killed or something and you don't think he should have a um, proper funeral or something so you're picketing it or whatever but that's like that's that's pretty dumb um, musical car horns are banned now that's just stupid because I, I actually like those I've never heard of one but I think they would be pretty cool and fun um, it's against the law to leave your car running unattended, even for like 10 seconds, like, I just like run into the store, leave my car on, have someone hijack it by accident, and like, get back and like start chasing after them, like, yo, yeah, come back, man, that's my car, and try to like, catch them, but they floor it to 60, and I just fall down, I'm like, yeah, I'll cry a lot, and yeah. So it's illegal to drive one's car through a parade. Well, obviously, because it'll probably kill some people, and the killing people is illegal, so yeah, it's illegal. Many cities have laws to force citizens to keep their yards in decent shape. Now, how do you define decent shape, and how do I define decent shape can be very, very different. I don't feel like defining it with you, so... Yeah, decent shape for me can be like dead grass and super high weeds and, um, you know, cockroaches everywhere f flying around and crawling around and, uh, possums all over the place, you know. That could be my decent yard to me, but you guys want a green grass and some other stuff, like no cockroaches or something, you know. Oh well. No one may sing the alphabet on the street at night. So I could sing the alphabet all day, every day, as long as I want. Hey, I'm going to go to Kansas and test that out, definitely. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, spitting on sidewalks is expressing forbidden. What? Whatever. Spitting on sidewalks is forbidden in two. I repeat, two cities of Kansas so if I ever go to Kansas I'll make sure not to go to those two cities because then I'll get arrested most likely Woo. um all right so that's the end of the video guys but I was right before I leave I'm just gonna tell you guys really quick uh, I'm gonna put a link to uh, sick card stuff in the description it's a clips channel you guys should go check it out some awesome clips I'm putting up like 10 to 15 a day so if you guys want to um, check it out uh, just yeah check the link below and goodbye